Hi Taurus, welcome to Magpie Moon Child. My name is Kaylee. I'm sorry, that made me look really dodgy. I It was about four times before I pressed the button. I just felt, oh, 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 not yet, oh, not yet. And it's like you've got that energy about you, this playful little low-key mischievous little energy about yourself. Um. Anyway, this is your month ahead reading for the month of April. Um. <laughs> sorry, I just want to laugh. It just feels really mischievous. Um, all the normal housekeeping stuff is down below. I'm going to do a month spread, so it's the four um weeks four parts of the month and then the overall energy at the top i don't know why i want to laugh something feels hilarious i don't know what mischief you're up to taurus but it's amazing keep doing it um let's see what we've got for the first week of this month it's just on a giggle three of cups wow yeah um celebrating those people around you with the chariot you could possibly be moving um or taking a journey or reconnecting with friends but something is driving forward and those around you that matter most your people are celebrating it with you they are so happy for you um, things are happening moving forward you're bringing everything into balance things are starting to come together in order to move forward because they're supposed to um, and those who were there in your darkest days are there celebrating with you in your brightest days ahead and let's see what we've got for the second week of this month it almost feels like those in the know know and that's kind of like oh i'm not going to tell you yet oh i'm not going to tell you yet oh i'm not going to tell you yet and but those closest know so it's almost like the masses don't know yet um but those on the inside know and they're celebrating with you so it's kind of like this little inner secret society that knows the information let's see what we've got for the second week of april we have the Page of Wands. Yes, the beginning of a little adventure, maybe a holiday possibly on the cards. Um, scoping potential is really what I'm getting. There's a dark cave over there. Let's go and see what's in the cave. Um, it could be a trip to the sea. I don't know if, if <laughs> where restrictions are where you are, but maybe a little trip to the sea, a bit of caving. Um, somebody really young and adventurous is going to be sent the stage this week. Um, they are going to have a little mini adventure and you're going along with it and they are in so much fun, so much mischief, but so much fun. Kids are just going to get dirty if you've got kids involved or even you. Maybe this is you but feeling playful. It's just about going on a little adventure. You're supposed to get dirty. You can wash dirt off. If you cut yourself while you're doing it, you're not going to do any major, major damage. You, you're going to have a scab for a couple of days. So don't be afraid of falling over and looking silly because this is what it's all about. Getting playful energy, having fun, enjoying our time by the sea. It's amazing. It doesn't have to be by the sea, but it really feels like getting out in nature and having some fun is kind of like amazing for you. Um, let's see what we've got for the third week of April. We have the King of Swords making... Yeah, so playful because you need to be a bit more serious towards the third week of this. Um, it's always like you, you've let loose. There's a real meditative energy about this card. Sitting and contemplating moving forward. What do I need to do? Making plans, making strategies, um, making decisions that affect the bigger picture, seeing the bigger picture and how all those intrinsic parts all come together. Um, and almost like knowing it will happen you you know you can control certain elements of it but those that you can't you can at least keep tabs on um a king doesn't micromanage everything he has other people to deal with the issues but he does keep on board of everybody to make sure that they're on the schedule that they should be that things are where they need to be also i would say that there is something legal attached to that that needs sorting um it is not you directly dealing with it but you can get onto the right people um, and make that happen. There is an element of control to it in the sense that you can chase people up, but um, and make sure that you're on top of people, almost like micromanaging them to um, get that ha to make that happen. But um, yeah, you're on top of it. It will happen. Let's see what we've got for the fourth week of this month. Five of Wands, obstacles and blockages. These are only temporary though. They don't feel big. But the, like I said, being on top of things, it feels like there's some sort of delay with this. Um, I know you want to make progress with that Chariot card and obviously with the King of Swords, it really does feel like... Um, but these are little obstacles. They'll feel massive when they happen, but they're not massive. They will quickly be resolved. They're just minor blockages on your path forward. Um... There is a woman involved. I don't know who that is. There's a woman involved that it's a temporary blockage. It feels like an, an administrative error. I don't know what that whether that is. 
it's just double checking something it's not a big issue it's just somebody hasn't done something at some point in the line and that I don't know if it's necessarily a woman that did it or a woman that will resolve it but this this woman is obviously the one removing the blockages um they just need to kind of um it, it's administrative it is literally administrative like somebody's typed something wrong one thing wrong or there's a fine detail so with that king of swords energy as well make sure anything that any contracts that you're dealing with you read the fine print because it could be that somebody's typed the wrong number numbers around the wrong way or there's there's some minute detail that is going to be a bigger problem if it's not dealt with now so it's a little obstacle right now but it could grow into something bigger um but whatever this is there's there's some sort of minor error that if it's not dealt with it can be a bigger error further down the line but um it's it's quickly resolved but because you're so on it on top of everything with that king of swords energy i think you you'll pick that up quite quickly and deal with that uh let's see what we've got for the overall energy for the month of april for taurus what have we got we've got the five of cups yeah okay um because of obviously these obstacles and things that you kind of want to get going get moving because this chariot really feels it feels like there's so much good going on and things are happening it feels like any obstacle in the way because it means so much to you it just feels like that's massive and you kind of this is what the, the energy that's coming in it's reminding you not to focus on what's going wrong focus on the end result focus on what's good focus on this play having fun focus on that it's a minor hiccup it's not a major one focus on the love that you have if you have a strong partner or there's there's good there's good in the world we need to stop focusing on what's not working and be in a place of gratitude when you're meditating sit in a more positive mindful position in with within that meditation i mean obviously that's what meditation's for but it's about you will meditate if you're in a negative place just sit and meditate and just take yourself to the the mindfulness of the moment um because going down that that negative rabbit hole just kind of it's just going to keep feeding itself um and it will make this little obstacle feel huge when it's really not it's a tiny thing that can be got over and that's kind of what's coming through it's like you really want it to happen those around you really want it to happen for you everybody's really happy you can't tell people yet because this until it's actually happening you kind of don't want to announce anything but there's little obstacles in the way do not focus on the negative focus on the positive focus on the big major outcome when you make that announcement to people that this is happening or or whatever's going off or you celebrate if it's to do with a house move once you're in the new house if it's to do with a new job it's once you're in the new job just go yeah I start my new job today it's great or I start on Monday it's a great thing there's just a little obstacle so I don't know if that's like if this is to do with like a job maybe like in the UK we have sometimes have to put out a DBS somebody's put the wrong figure on a DBS form and it's put everything back two weeks it's that sort of do you know what I mean it's nothing major it's just they couldn't find your details because they put your date of birth wrong like they put the 24th instead of the 27th or something um so it, it's a minor administrative error kind of thing but but it knocks everything on two weeks do you know what I mean like yeah it's it's that kind of energy it's something minor but it feels like a bigger thing because it has this knock-on effect which in the grand scheme of things isn't huge but for you wanting to get things to where they're supposed to be that two weeks is a big two weeks um it's that frustration of a little bit of blockage a little bit of delay um but yeah focus on the positive don't focus on what's going wrong focus on what's right and focus on the end goal because that's what's going to keep you getting through all this minutiae of administration i really hope that is of some use to you um, and hopefully i will see you again soon bye for now